What's going on guys? We're back with another tutorial for all the DJs out there. Today we're going to be talking about iTunes Smart Playlist. iTunes Smart Playlist are playlists within iTunes that follow certain rules that you can set. Instead of just having a group of songs and a list that you toss in, sort of like Serato crates, Smart Playlist look through your entire music collection and pull in songs into that playlist based on rules that you can set, which I previously mentioned. So let's take a look. Here's my full music library. As you can see, it just has everything within it. But under my playlists, I do have a folder named Tractor Serato. These are the two soft softwares that I DJ within. I have my hip hop broken down into sections, which is nice. I tag my music in a specific way. Um, I'll have a tutorial on this later, where each uh, section of the US also has a different kind of sound of hip hop. So. I have them split up so if I'm doing an all west coast set or I'm doing a dirty south set all my music is all these playlists automatically another handy one I have is BPM so I have different ranges of BPMs and once your music is analyzed and whatever DJ software you have the BPM will be filled in and once that's filled in the ID3 tags it'll automatically populate in these playlists so if I'm DJing and maybe I don't know what to play, um, I can just go straight into one of these playlists and whatever BPM range that I'm in and kind of search around real quick and find something that matches. Finally, I have a year folder. This has different decades um, of music and for the last couple years of this decade I have it broken down into individual years. So for instance, if I'm doing an 80s party, I can go through all my 80s music, 90s party, or something current or another tip is if I'm opening up for another DJ I don't want to play stuff from this year I want to go back a year or two so I can go into these playlists and play some songs that are still hot but not the newest and greatest leaving room for the the headlining DJ so let's dig in a little deeper and show you exactly how these work so if you look at a smart playlist if you right click on it and go to edit this pop-up shows up and this will show you all the different rules that the playlist in question is following so for my all playlist it's basically saying every song in my iTunes that has the term Serato in all caps in the grouping tag will get pulled into this playlist so that's one tip I have is that every song that I DJ with I make sure that under the grouping tag I have the word Serato in it That'll automatically populate all my DJ music into this playlist. So let's look at BPM for instance. So this is saying that pull all the songs from the playlist all and the BPM is in the range of 50 to 65. So this is all the slower kind of music from 50 to 65 and it'll always live update. That's why this box is checked. So let's give you an example of how powerful these smart playlists can be. So if you see here, I have this Robin Thicke song and it doesn't have any of the, the tags I need, such as the grouping tag. So if I go into this playlist right now and I search for Robin Thicke, that song doesn't show up. But if I go in and add the term Serato, automatically, if I type in Robin Thicke again in this playlist, there's a song right there populated automatically and because I already have this playlist sorted by BPM if I go into the BPM playlist and type in Robin Thicke there you go it populates in this playlist as well notice I didn't have to add it to any of these other playlists they automatically populate and this is why I think this organization style is so much easier to maintain because you don't have to worry about making sure that you put the song in the right crate or the right folder. It automatically does it for you. So all you have to do is maintain a certain structure of how you tag your music and it'll automatically populate into these playlists. If you have any questions, comment below. Remember to like and thanks for watching.